It's time for Top That Trade. Joining us right now, Phil Flynn of Fox Business News Network contributor and Alan Nuckman, the chief market strategist at BullseyeOption.com for our trader game. Round number one, risk off, off. Equities and bonds are both down in 2022. What's the buy on the dive? Well, Phil is right with his hand signals there. It's been sell the rally in stocks and bonds in 2022. Both are down about 10%. Usually there's an inverse relationship. One goes up, the other one goes down. So this has really kind of thrown the markets a bit, uh, but there is opportunity here. We want to see if stocks can hold this key level. What's important to me is the VIX hasn't exploded. There's no VIX explosion, even though we're coming close to these year lows. Keep an eye on a couple of stocks. NVIDIA and AMD that have had earnings uh, expectations grow, even though they're down in the lower 25 percent. Yeah, I think this, you know, this happens on rare occasions in the market rare. when you have them going in the same direction. But what it's telling you right now is that you're seeing an unwinding of extraordinary stimulus in the economy. And what we're seeing is what the market is saying that a lot of these companies' earnings benefited by extraordinary stimulus. Some stocks ben uh, benefited from COVID. And now, it, it, with the market saying in this rising rate environment, they're kind of taking the punch bowl away. So some of those earnings are going to be harder to come by. We've seen that with some of the big names like the Netflix, uh, Alphabet, some of the big tech names. That doesn't mean that they're not good. At some point, they're going to be a great buy, but you're seeing a readjustment of that, and that's why we're seeing this trend, this unusual trend, and that's what it's telling us. It's wacky. It doesn't happen. I've been doing this for 30 years. It's only happened you know, back in the 70s for a short period of time. So let's see how it, it sorts itself out. So you were here in the 70s? <laughs> Round number two, retail drive, Walmart cutting prices at the pump. What's the better buy, Walmart or oil? We think uh, oil prices still have significant upside risk. Yes. The war in Ukraine has taken a turn for the worse, and Russia is using oil and gas as a political weapon. This is something that we warned about could happen, and now it's happening. What that means for you at the gas pump is that this recent drop in price isn't going to last and I'm afraid it could go up a lot higher. Well, looking at uh, looking at oil, came back to this 100 level. It's interesting on a weekly basis to watch that at, at 100 level. So there's still a lot. We never even tested those recent highs, even though there seems to be more political uh, potential for a price pop. Round number three, 21 hit. 21 stocks are down 50% from the high. Pick your play. Uh, the one I like is win, just because I guess I want to win. But the house always wins. I'm not a gambler. I'm a probability person. Uh, and I think that their probability of, of making money will come back. They've been trading between 80 and 100 for six months. Now they've dropped down. We're trading between 70 and 80. So we could see a little quick run back up to that 80 level and get back inside that channel once again. I think some of the stocks that you want to look at are the ones that are getting beat up the worst, which are the tech stocks right now. So I think risk across reward. the tech board, risk reward, right? You know, a few months ago, you couldn't afford these things because they were too high. And now nobody likes these stocks all of a sudden. So if you're a long term investor, look for the names that you wanted to buy, but you couldn't afford. This is going to be your opportunity. For example, if you wanted to own one share of Alphabet or if you wanted to own Facebook or yeah, you know, some of these other stocks, this is going to be a buy. On to the bonus round, and we have a quick correction. Alan was right last week. Air is a real ticker. A viewer let us know. It's an Illinois-based company. So, Alan, you are up by a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Here's today's bonus round question. The Powerball winning ticket was sold in Arizona. What's the first thing a lottery winner should do, according to experts? Tell your friends and family call your real estate broker, or take a picture of yourself with a winning ticket. Take oh. a picture of yourself with a winning ticket. Verify, verify, and double verify, and sign it. That's the answer, but the, the bigger answer is this. You're gonna take 80% of it and put it into some sort of fund where it's locked up, a lock box, where you're gonna get your four or 5% and you're gonna live off the interest. The rest of the money you can blow, but the, you're gonna live off the interest no matter how, how dumb you, uh, uh, you know, treat your money. Well, we are giving away more winner, winner chicken dinners because you are both correct. Take that picture, verify, verify, verify is the right thing to do. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.